से बनाते हैं और तो बातें जो है ना मुझसे एक आइडेंटिटी देते हैं उसे एक व्यक्तित्व भी देते हैं जिससे हम उसको बहुत आसानी से पहचान सकते हैं राइट इसके लिए हम बहुत सारी चीज़ों का इस्तेमाल करते हैं हम डिज़ाइन कलर लोगो सो मेनी थिंग इन ऑर्डर टू टाइप ऑफ प्रोसेस यानी कि भीड़ में हम अलग दिखें अलग के साथ साथ हमारी एक अलग पहचान बने और उस पहचान से लोग हमें बहुत आसानी से जो है ऑफ द लॉट जब छाट पाए पहचान पाए और अपने दिमाग में हमारी एक छवि जो है वो निर्धारित करते हैं राइट इट द विजिबल एलिमेंट ऑफ ब्रांड कलर डिजाइन एंड लोगो दर आर डिफरेंट डिस्टिंग ब्रांड इन माइंड Brand identity is distinct from brand image. Right, so there are two terms people get confused. That brand identity, I mean, brand go pattern will be or will be brand image. Right, so in my image, it is an after effect. Right, when you put brand go pattern, so you have to use it to share, you have to popularize it to share, you have to give it a lot of attention. So that your mind is completely far away, long lasting impression. That is why we are talking about the brand image. Right. To the former corresponds to the intent behind the branding and the way a company does the promotion, or to cultivate a certain image in one's mind. So, as I said, choose its name, design its logo. Like for example, after you see picture of some picture, you are again being reminded of when you are looking for a sign. It is again a light, right? When you are again, you know, you see a uh, smiley in the LG. You are talking about a new brand, new LG, right? If you are been looking at the tiger, you know, you know, I am jumping so over there to go. Mind it, I am bad like this. So means that just by looking at the logo, you can talk about that different different branding is all about what the decision to it, right? What are the different product range available? So uh, visual element in order to promote the product, uh, you know, uh, promote the product, right? And you have to again segregate yourself. You have to create your own mix. You have to create your own identity. So you have to use certain language, you know, type of font, you know, particularly it belongs to you, so that uh, uh, you know you are somewhat different among the lot, right? And you have to train your employees so that when they are interacting with the uh, you know customers, they are able to tell, convey the uniqueness, how you are different, what that difference lies up to. They will able to make that very clear, right? Now let us understand uh, what is important here and why. What is brand identity in a whole? Like uh, in many ways, it's a visual symbol or illustration. If you just see, you know, it, it, today everyone, you know, is talking about Apple, whether it is a smartwatch, whether it is a tab, whether it is again, when we talk about MacBook, whether it is an iPhone, right? And how do you see it in life? You know, when you see a symbol of half uh, uh, certain Apple, you know, when you use again, people want to show the logo, you know, when you talk about the status quo. It is a big thing. There are more often people want to convey to the other people that they are been using this particular brand in iPhone or this particular, you know, uh, kind of version of iPhone. Why? Because again, they they want to convey a message to the people, more their allegiance or maybe you know, their style or whatever. So that is a big thing there. So uh, think of Nike, uh, Shoes, that is a big thing, or Apple, Apple. Those are two instances where the identity of brand is connected. With a symbol or visual aspect. अब आपको आपने कभी ये सोचा है कि ये जो जो images हैं, अगर ये आ जाए, तो क्या product पे really कोई फर्क पड़ेगा? Right? क्योंकि quality और product पे same ही रहेगी, लेकिन you would be surprised to know that yes, there is going to be a difference because they, because these signs are responsible to create the identity among the mind of People are able to identify you, and people know the difference among the lots of different brands available in the market. So you don't have to push them uh, to buy a product because automatically it is in their mind. They have to just uh, you know uh, push, and they will be able to uh, buy the product, right? So like Nike uh, Incorporation, for example, owns one of the world's most instantly recognizable logos. You see, according to Forbes, uh, the 2020 world Most popular brands report the Nike brand ranks 13 in 
with an estimated brand value of 39.1 billion dollars. Even though in a world devoid of brand perception, taking the shoes off of Nike shoes and apparel would say nothing about their comfort or performance. The top brand on the 2020 list was Apple with an estimated brand value of 241.2 uh, billion. So then you see, you know, we all know that. But again, I, in order to distinguish some of the lot available, because uh, we have not built the uh, perfection related with the quality, related with the working with those uh, kind of brand uh, images which we have already created in our mind. Now, why is it important? It is important because uh, we don't have to put uh, a large market share, uh, right? We may not don't need to have a large market share and a huge customer base, right? Other than estimated brands, however, having a strong brand identity is critical if you want to receive such benefits as customer loyalty, brand recognition, customer trust, and constant growth. It helps represent your brand values and personality and can be successful messages across all marketing styles, right? Now, an increasingly competitive market makes brands come up with something new to start out by creating a powerful identity for your company you will be able to find an appropriate position for your brand and create a unique design that people will recognize as a result you will improve your brand awareness right so again a lot of things have been there when you talk about you know like uh, star bags where they are really very famous for their, for their aromas and you know the kind of coffee uh, processing they have been having and what does you see you know the green color ambience related with what and you are being uh, reminded of the uh, coffee place, right? So let us again once uh, see what is the basic difference because a lot of people get confused between the two aspects that is identity and image. Identity is a set of visible elements like logo, design and color that helps the brand stand out among its competitors in consumer minds and a business owner team collects a name, develops a logo, crafts messages and an effective way of communication creates extreme visuals and using color to show the specific image in the mind of consumers, right? Now, image is the perception a consumer has about a particular brand after interacting with it, simply putting its result of a company's team efforts to create a brand identity. If it is successful, they have a positive image, as whatever efforts in terms of trying to the, the color you may have used, like for example, if you, if you talked about a very, very common example related to this is the Mandy, right? The Mandy right? You know, the color combination of yellow and red, they, they have been using the kind of the own symbol they have been using. Now, uh, whether, you know, it is uh, to any age group, the symbol itself talks about that uh, there is uh, nearby, you know, uh, uh, Magdi would be available and we would be able to have those because maybe they have a lot of range of products available, but the very common products available to them would be of burger and it reminds you for that, right? Now, there are certain elements of the brand identity when we talk about it is uh, because it doesn't only uh, merely talk about logo, but then there are certain other components to be considered. Now, logos can be presented in the form of images, shapes, and shapes that depict a brand name. Like, for example, you know, when you talk about there is a brand name like crocodile, right? So, again, uh, they have used uh, the face of a crocodile for that because it is usually, you know, uh, you can link that. And then there are certain uh, brand names which are not easily been talking about the product or related with some kind of a logo similar to that. Like for example, when you talk about uh, Dabba, that uh, uh, you know, uh, Banyan tree with a lot of uh, um, you know, things are being there, uh, which is being reminded of, and it talks about that uh, it's existed for now more than uh, 100 years. So it talks about that the stability. The kind of aura, the kind of ranges of products you have been producing, right? So that logo is being there. Um, of course, the logo is the key element of the company's identity. Since uh, customers usually pay attention to it, you can also use a text logo. Uh, the same text only uh, typographic treatment of a brand name. So you can write your uh, you know name into different uh, fonts, right? So maybe italics or maybe. Uh, you are being using Georgia or any other font because that can differentiate you when you use the way the style that has been uh, crafted uh, can uh, uh, you know, take away your attention uh, and uh, that uh, leaves an impression on your mind, right? So, more and more companies are seeing text only in the world uh, since they are easier to remember. 
Now, I do another because if you remember, there was one of the ads, you know, Sony Entertainment was doing there, and they have uh, billboards all over, and uh, they, they have put in the uh, selling of entertainment, you know, because he was in the reverse order. A lot of people thought that, uh, you know, they, they are such a big brand and they even don't know the selling of entertainment. It was intentionally being done so that again it can catch uh, the attention of the people. So this is again, you know, when we, um, when we try to hold the attention, because it is not uh, necessary, it is again from there or the other, you have to catch hold uh, to the attention of the people. So like when we are talking about the font, once you decide on your logo, you should think of the content font you will be using because that font uh, becomes, you know, whether you are putting anything on your website, whether you are putting anything on your social media or in different form, whether it is in the advertising, whether I mean about the books, uh, the you know, magazines you have been talking about. So it has to be your, you know, you should be using the same font of all over. It's not like that, that okay, for one particular aspect you have been using one font. Because that is leading, that is a part of your identity. That font, you are, you are conveying the message to people that we are not being using like the common font by area, the times, the ones, or some other kind of thing. We are being using something very creative, something very unique, which again, uh, when you look at, you have been reminded about our name or about our brand name, right? So, um, uh, finding an identity, grabbing an easy to understand font. Because again, it is also because too much complication can lead to again the contrast, that right? people would not be able to read what you want to convey. So it has to be creative, it has to be, uh, you know, attention grabbing, teaching, and it has to be very simple, you know, so that people, whatever message you are conveying, they, they would be able to read that, right? So, are you able to understand what we have been talking about? So now we have talked about what is brand identity, why again, you know, brand identity changes the difference, what is the difference between brand image? and brand identity we have uh, uh, talked about. Anyone is having any kind of a question to be asked now? If you are having anything to ask, please feel free to ask. Anyone is having anything to ask? Okay, so fine. Now the best forms include the uh, project of my Nova. So these are different kind of forms which are in there. Uh, they are highly creative and, uh, uh, you know, um, TG Maestro or Halvita now. You can use them, right? And they are very uh, famous with so the brands like Spotify, uh, Jeep, uh, Box, and uh, some of them many more. So they are already been using these kind of top of brands. They are already been using these forms, right? Now, uh, there has to be a style consistency because if you are wearing too much, you know, again, because uh, when you are consistent, people, you know, like uh, are able to link with you, people feel associated with you. Right, they know that okay, from last one year or two years, you are on the same track, you have been uh, improving on, in terms of your quality, in terms of uh, the other aspects. So consistency is very important. It's not like that today, you are into the market with something, and maybe you know, two months later, you are with something else. Right, so that again, you know, deserves the customer. So, whatever the range of products you have been having, you know, it's not like that in one particular category, you have been using it, and maybe not in the other. It, it is again when we are talking about brand identity, it is in, uh, in all sort of products. You are being, because it will convey to the people that these all belong under the same umbrella, right? So, uh, by mentioning style, we mean visual elements of your brand. You should be consistent when it comes to images and other visual elements on your website or information language. So, that is a very common example, if you remember, I don't know. Maybe some ages we have been watching that other the button we will show in them, right? Now the that Amul girl with a dotted kind of, uh, you know, dress. Uh, so uh, a lot of animated characters have been there in the market available today. But, but that the role itself has been uh, reminded you about that we have been talking specifically about the brand name uh, known as Amul. And again the product is the butter. Right, so these kind of variations which are already been there, they have been specifically related to a particular brand. So whenever you see them, um, you know, another, if you talk about, there was a very one of the uh, fabulous uh, character which was in there, which was the R of 7 up was in there. And then when you see that, again, you have been demanding about all these products. So these are again, you know, they, they, they are such kind of elements which 
when you see them, you can always if you see them, are being, you know, giving you a reminder related with the product, or uh, right, related with the kind of quality or the kind of section you are being, uh, you know, having while using them, right? So, uh, consistency is very important in terms of style. And it is also, uh, you know, uh, when it is about the visual elements or about the images or about, uh, you know, your, your samples on the TV. So, it has to be in a similar fashion. It is not like that, that every time you are coming up with a change plan, right? So, then from one more essential component is the same or a form that it begins to accompany and make people recognize the product. Ensure that you have memorable packaging and an interesting uh, form. So today again, you know, uh, this plays a very, very important role when we are talking about the packaging. You see, a lot of people today are been spending a lot when we talk about packaging because it is the game, the outer design. Because when you are carrying a product, right, how conveniently, how easy it is for you to carry, right, uh, um, it, it again makes the difference. So, when we are been talking about, it is again, uh, that uh, McDonald's effectively utilize a unique element for promotion and now the iconic M form is known all over the world. Because again, it is not like that, that in India they are having a separate sort of a M, maybe in Italy they are having, so in, uh, wherever you go, that kind of a common form, the way it has been written, the kind of, you know, the, uh, the, uh, the design it has been there, it is same for the world. So it becomes easy uh, for people to recognize and okay, maybe they know the balance of that particular place or not, maybe they understand the language of that place or not. But by just merely looking at the symbol, but by just looking really at the brand name, they are again being reminded of that, okay, you know, this, this, this is uh, something we know, and this is the place where we can have something to go. Now, let us again take uh, some popular one or two examples in order to understand. Now you all know the frame of Coca-Cola, right? So we all are very fond of drinking and you know it's available in the matter of Coca-Cola, right? So this again is the uh, uh, when we are been uh, talking about this, so reading Coca-Cola, probably evokes the pleasing sound of opening, a refreshing cold can or trademark bottle. The Coca-Cola brand, or as many of us refer to it, Coke is one of the most recognizable brands on the planet. And many associated with happiness. And this is no contrary to them. Coca-Cola leads the industry, branding and product sales because they appeal to their audience and leave a lasting impression. For example, did you know that while Coca-Cola did not create the legend of Santa Claus, the brand's advertising has shaped the beloved and jovial character we all know and love. Based on 1931 painting that Coca-Cola commissioned, the brand established Venda as, as a warm, happy character with human features, such as a rosy cheek, a white beard, twinkling eyes, and laughter language. That image is draws today on the positive feeling many associate with the holiday season is inherently linked to folks. Coca Cola doesn't give their brand identity solely on holiday tears. Every aspect of Coca Cola brand name, including an emotion, Connection and a sense of belonging. The brand's many successful campaigns include share a folk, open happiness, and praise the feeling. While this campaign has its own voice, each link back to the Coca Cola company purpose to refresh the world and make a difference. Right, so that is the question about how the Coca-Cola has been talking about the, uh, the, the reflectors, you know, the, the smile and the use of the kind of energy, uh, you know, the vision doubling out, right? So that is the question there. Now you can see the R also. Even uh, their iconic red and white logo has uh, put the test of time. It uses a plastic terrace script form to evoke a hand-drawn quality making the brand feel approachable to consistency their unmistakable brand colors and logo design. Coca-Cola is continuing to develop brand loyalty from the uh, from hard uh, hard hard work time. Now we will be talking about another that is the McDonald's. 
The American food chain, as I said, is hamburgers, tires of the iconic golden arches. McDonald's is the most in our list of brand identity examples. I do believe one of the most recognizable brands in the world. Simplicity is the key to McDonald's brand identity. There is no mess, no fuss, red and yellow color, palette is warm, friendly and accessible. McDonald's changes to their target audience makes the brand strategy particularly noteworthy. Each aspect of the brand identity, can be a logo and packaging to their overall brand message and tone. Thank you very much, Target Restaurant. Please all happy meal. Uh, with local characters as a bonnet, by the honor, McDonald's, and the Hamburglar. In something you know, McDonald's creates the union, uh, McDonald's and the Hamburglar. In something you know, uh, they have created products for children. Their offering doesn't stop here. The menu is accessible to a much wider audience. In place of diverse, dietary, restrictions and budgets. Regardless of your age or geographical location, step into any McDonald's and you will experience the brand in the same way. Both ways existing, you will experience the brand in the same way and go there and uh, resistant to visual identity and their dependable products make them a trustworthy brand and you can instantly recognize McDonald's to be the most uh, is most in every country. The brand successfully implemented cultural cuisine and located localized marketing strategies to ensure that they are always delighted, aligned with their customers. No matter where they are, like if they are living in Europe, no matter where they are, if they are not in India, maybe they are in other countries, but still, they are conveying the message that because they may vary from country to country in their different ways, they are different from their products, they are done for that in common to all countries, right? And that is how it links in common. Uh, this is again the example related to Gandhi's, right? So uh, there is again uh, being uh, the food uh, headliners, headliners, uh, certain food, right? Now, uh, how to create? There are four steps when we are talking about food, the five steps, how to create a powerful brand identity. Now, it is again important that you should always analyze your ID customer, you need many USP, what we talk about, you need many traditional and competitors. So, you have to know Right, or actually, I'm going to go to the market to search for the market to search for the product. We want to have a person to buy, we want to have a lot of person to buy, we want to have a lot of person to buy, we want to have a lot of person to buy, we want to have a lot of person to buy, we want to have a lot of person to buy, we want to have a lot of person to buy, we want to have a lot of person to buy, we want to have a lot of person to buy, we want to have a lot of person to buy, we want to have a lot of person to buy, we want to have a lot of so you need not to conduct marketing research to understand your So you have to understand your audience. Uh, you need very information and knowledge, but also your competitors, your market. And you make sure that you know. Uh, your ideal customers and your needs. By understanding your ideal, you will be closer in developing a product that people will admire. Secondly, analyze your product and identify what makes you unique among others and allow you to stand out. To develop a successful brand, you should know the difference between how company and your driver is.
थैंक यू सो मच मैम फॉर सेशन I would like to thank on the behalf of students and also on the behalf of faculty. Uh, thank you so much, everyone, for joining the session. I hope you must have gained some insightful knowledge. Uh, thank you so much, everyone. Uh, thank you so much everyone for your time you may please proceed uh, with your work